guys. Thought I would do a quick live tonight. I say quick live, but all of my lives end up going like an hour to two hours. And I do apologize for that. I just, I have a hard time stopping. Um, but I figured I would show you guys a little bit on those special cups. Um, the donut, the cactus, and the pineapple. And then I also got these really cute uh, plate and bowls that are uh, black and white. And so I thought I would show you, like this is one of them. The other one's kind of like a checkered triangle pattern. Um, so I'll show you what all I've done with those so far. I've, they're all kind of in progress. Hi, Danny. But I thought I would, I would jump on and maybe do a little bit more towards them and kind of walk you through it. They're not finished, but I have started all of them. So one of the things I got just the other day was this mold from Dollar Tree. It's to make ice, but if you're a crafter, you see it in other you see tons of other options. So I thought if I fill this with hot glue, I could make an embellishment. So that is what I'm going to do. This is what I made the other day after purchasing it. And then I can just paint it and it's just hot glue. And so I put one in here a little while ago. I filled it to the rim. And then I got impatient and I was checking to see if it was dry yet and I stuck my thumb in there. Can you see where I did that? So <laughs> be patient if you if you do this. You don't want to get your, your thumb in there. But I figured I would show you what all I did. What I did was this, the leafy part of the pineapple, I did that part first. And all that I'm doing is just filling all of the crevices. And this hot glue, since this mold is the silicone, it will not stick to it. So it's pretty forgiving with, uh, with the hot glue in there. So all that I do is just fill it to the rim. And if you didn't want to fill it all the way to the rim, you don't have to. But with this one, I wanted a really nice, uh, thick pineapple. And when I went to the Dollar Tree, they also had uh, flamingos. And then they had another one that was blue. I can't remember what that one was. But I figured this one I would use the most. So I went ahead and grabbed it. And as you can see... I had a partial um, glue stick in there, then I put a new one in there, and it's used almost all of that, that full one. Now I'm adding a second one. So it's going to take approximately two and a half glue sticks to fill one pineapple. And all that I'm doing is just filling and after a while since I'm using a cordless it kind of gets a little hard to um, squeeze my trigger so I just set that on the, the stand for a little bit hi Sarah and while I'm letting that charge up a little bit I'm just kind of tapping this down just to make it a little bit smoother and get it in all the little crevices. There is some little lines on the inside to show that it's a pineapple, you know, the texture. But when it's all done, you don't really see. I tried showing it on here before just to see if it would show. It's not showing the grooves. You can feel them just slightly, but you can always paint it later on to uh, give that, that look. So 
So as soon as I get this one pretty full, I'm going to show you what cup I'm referring to. If you've been on my page, you've seen the cups. So that's pretty, pretty full here. So I'm going to set that down. And then all I'm going to do is kind of tap it. If you were using it for chocolates, you'd do the same thing to get like the little air bubbles out. And so I'm just kind of getting it to where it's nice and smooth there. So I'm going to set this aside. <clears throat> and I've got this gnome kind of in pieces. So this is the cup that I ended up getting, a pineapple one. And I thought that would work really great as a hat. So what I did, this here was part of one of these. And all I did was I took the uh, tinsel off of it. And it comes off pretty easy and then it just kind of falls apart this you can save for another craft if you like. A lot of times I just pitch it. And the base, it can be used for another craft later. But all that I was wanting was this top piece. And it has a little nub on that bottom. And it prevents it from sitting nice and flat on the top of my cup. So what I did was I took my snips and I cut that off. And when I cut that off, it all came apart in pieces. So I put it back together and I put E6000 and hot glue in place to hold that to where it does not fall apart. And then I used E6000 and hot glue and glued it to the bottom of my cup. So it looks like the pineapple has that up on top. I just think it that little detail is going to really set him off. And I had several socks picked out. I wasn't sure which ones I wanted for the body. I kept thinking, well, I could do a yellow one or even a white or a green or spongebob i grabbed these because they were yellow and i thought well i could put it on put this on one side and then turn it wrong side out and cover it so you wouldn't see it and have a full yellow one but then i found these and i know it has blue on there but i thought that'll add just a little pop of color but i like how this part is kind of speckled so it has that white in the yellow because it it kind of brings out the little highlights of the pineapple so what I did was I filled the sock with rice so this has rice in it and he can sit pretty good so I know he's gonna be sturdy enough to hold this cup up and then all that I did was I used a rubber band and tied that. Now on the cactus one, I used a really long sock. And that one I was able to tie in a knot up on top. And if I wanted, I could snip this close and use this fabric for the shoes. But I had a whole different idea for that. So I will walk you through that here in a minute. And then all that I did was I cut some fur some faux fur and for his nose I gotta tell you this little trick <clears throat> his nose has these little holes on each side and it's so you can thread them well I wanted him to look like he had a mustache so I cut that fur in a let me see in a strip and I cut it really, really thin. 
Then I went and I took, I think this is a knitting needle. I don't know. I have tons of those because I crochet and people give me knitting needles as well. So with that small strip of fur, I just shoved that through the hole. And I kind of made these into his nostrils. I used that uh, detail on several other ones. So it looks like he has nostrils on each side. Well, this one here now has a mustache going through his nose. <laughs> I thought it was pretty cute. So I had seen that technique done on another uh, video on YouTube. Hers looks way better than mine because I can still see the backside of the, of the fur. Where on hers, you can't see it. So I don't know if hers... If her bead had a bigger hole, so it was able to go through a little bit better and it didn't stretch it out or something. But this did stretch it out just a little bit. But I really like how it creates like a little mustache there. And then I cut this, this strip just a little bit too big. So all that I did was created little pleats up at the top. I could have cut them down a little bit more, but I was getting tired when I was working on them. And I just made it work for me. So then, with the cup, that's the good thing about this having rice in there. You can make it as thin towards the top or as wide or however you want it. So this will go inside, tuck inside there. And then that's going to tuck inside as well. And here after bit, I will glue it down. I haven't I haven't glued him down yet. But when I go to to sell him, he will be completely glued down to where the the hat will not come off. And that beard I covered up the little uh spots to help keep from sliding on those socks. I just covered that part up. So you don't even see it. So it works really well. And I wasn't sure, you know, is he done or should I add some more embellishments? Well, then that's where that uh, ice mold came into effect. I thought, oh my goodness, I could, I could put a pineapple up there, you know, and maybe some flowers or something. Because I have these little yellow, these little yellow flowers. I don't know just something something to add a little bit of character to him and then for the socks I end up getting some baby socks and what I did I already have the shoe in there um, I took these little booties that you get in the baby shower section and then they had these neon green socks in the baby section. So I'm just going to put that shoe inside the sock. And then all the extra, I'm going to tuck inside that shoe. So he's all tucked in there. Then I would put glue on this top part on both sides and on each side of that beard I'm gonna put his shoes. Can you see that? He looks really cute with shoes. They turn out really adorable. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to put this near the handle or stick it on the other side. But I think on the handle side it needs a little something. So I figured I would put this. But I do plan on painting it. I plan on 
doing green on the top and then yellow here with some brown. So he will end up looking adorable. But I wanted to get on tonight and walk you guys through that. Um, I will glue him down after a while. But I gotta show you the other ones as well. This one here I think is my favorite out of them all. How cute is he, right? Oh, and I just noticed I have the sticker on the top of the, the lid. Or the bottom of the, uh, the cup. Thank goodness they come off really nice and easy. Some labels don't come off so good. Danny, right? This one is so adorable. And all that I did is I'm going to take him apart because he's not... He's not glued or anything. So see, he's not he's not glued down. So all I did was this is a medium sized pot. I don't even think it says what size it is. It's a Pennington one, but it doesn't say what size. It's just a medium one, and I grabbed it, and I thought. Well, for that one, for the cactus, I want a brown body, so I went looking for brown socks. Let me tell you guys, it is so hard to find brown socks. If you have a brown outfit that you need socks for, you know the struggle. I looked and looked and looked, and I didn't want to have to order online because I wanted, I'm impatient, and I really wanted to get these done. So, I work at Walmart, and I went looking. It took me quite a while. I went through the kids section. I went through the women's, the men's. I went through twice and finally found one set of brown. The brown that I want. They had, they had some tan, like really light, light tan. But I wanted the color of dirt. Like really nice dirt. <laughs> I tell you, black, if you're needing black, white any other color, you're golden. But if you need brown, you better plan on shopping for quite a while and you shop around because I could not find other than this one set and it was in the men's section. And it was, it was a really long, a really long sock. So all that I did was I filled it with rice until he could peek out of the top of this this flower pot then I filled then I went and I just tied a knot I could have just done the uh, the rubber band and saved the rest of the sock but that's okay this is gonna sit inside the cup so you're not gonna see that knot and I'm not gonna put shoes on him because he's going inside the pot so, then all that I did was I glued on a beard and a nose. This nose has a hole on each side for that bead, but it looks like, it looks like his nostrils to his nose. Isn't that funny? <laughs> He's so cute, though. And, I mean, you can shape him. You can make him as tall as you want. You can make him as short and chunky. But when I put him inside... There was a couple options. I can have the beard go inside the pot or have it to where it's kind of draping out. I like where it's draping out of the pot because then that adds a little bit down here to where it just kind of shows a little bit of character. Hi, Bailey. And then this, this cup just fits over top like I did with the other one and I set it kind of at an angle he looks so cute and then with these 
I bought tons of them. I went to the Dollar Tree and they had several different kinds. They had some in little itty bitty pots. Hi, Bailey. And then they also had some that were on little clippies. Well, I ended up taking all the ones off the clips and I took all the ones out of the little pots and I wanted to see which ones would look better with him. And I, I love this one, you know, the most. They, I mean, they had these, but I didn't really like how, how it looked. But I grabbed all kinds because I didn't know which one was going to look the best with him. I mean, they have all sorts. I know, I might have an addiction, right? But the ones I don't use, I'll use on something else. So I ended up narrowing it down to these. I really liked how these looked with it. This one has, it's kind of like a brownish red uh, tip to it. And I thought that kind of ties in with his, his hat or the cup. And so with placement, I thought I should probably have the bigger one on this side. So I didn't even glue it. All that I did was shove it in there to take up some of that room in that pot. And I mean, you can always change it out later if I didn't feel like gluing it. This one here, I don't know if I'm going to glue him completely down because I kind of like the idea that the owner can swap out these plants. You know, if they find one that's a little bit better or if they wanted to put like a, you know, fake ferns or put some flowers in there, they can. And then this one here, I really didn't want to hide that red flower detail on there. So I just stuck the short one in this side and then see, he's, he's done. <laughs> it's so simple. I do want to glue the hat on to him, but I don't think I want to glue the little plants in there. Because, say they want to, and this is just an example, I'm just going to grab, I'm just going to grab some stuff out of my, out of my uh, flower box here. I have all my flowers in one, one thing. So say somebody's wanting to decorate for the 4th of July. And I mean, they can still leave those in because there's room in the back. They can add. They can add more flowers. In this pot. And it's mainly because I have not glued any of that down. And if they wanted a different decorative pot... They could just lift him out of there. So say they have a pot that has texture or a bowl or something. I will have the hat glued down on him. But they'll be able to swap that out with a different one if they like. And just so you guys know, I... I have talked about doing some vendor events and stuff, and I recently talked to a lady that does the farmer's market here in town. And so I will probably be setting a table up on the days that I have off that works with them. They're there Wednesdays and Saturdays. I only get one Saturday off a month, so that Saturday that I have off, I will probably do the the farmer's market and if I happen to have a Wednesday or maybe I'll even ask for some time off or something and have a Wednesday off once in a while um, then I'll set up there for that but yeah I think he is my favorite out of the unique looking ones 
Oops. And I will glue the hat down on him, but I wanted to show you how cute. Probably won't do tons of gluing tonight, but but how cute is that? <laughs> he turns out so adorable. I love this cup. Okay, so I'm going to set him off to the side. And then, of course, I'm going to set these aside as well. I have the donut one. I was kind of stumped as to what color sock to use for the donut one. Because the sprinkles, the chocolate, you know, the donut color, I could use like a mustard yellow, I could use a white, I could use any of, of the colors. And then I found these socks. How fun is that? And how I was just shocked that I even saw these. So, picked that up, put it on here. That is going to be a very cute, cute body for this gnome. And I was inspired by the sprinkles. I had to incorporate all of those colors. And I'm sorry I'm going to pick these up because I just knocked some stuff over. My chair will get stuck if I don't pick them up. There we go. Trying to hurry and go through things and things get knocked over. Alrighty. So, with him, I thought, well, I can do a brown beard or a white beard. And I think I'll probably end up doing the white. And then, same thing. This one's going to have shoes. Since he's not going inside anything. Once I learned this trick, it's hard not to add, add shoes to every single one. I do have some gnomes that don't have uh, shoes. And they're cute. I really like how they look. But once I learned this little tip, it's hard not to add them. So then all that you do is you tuck... The rest of that sock in there. And then this top, you'll add that glue and you will glue it down. And his beard will go here with his nose. He's going to look so cute. And I do plan on posting pictures of all of them when they are done. So then all I did was put that shoe in there. I mean, how easy. I mean, you could take a little bit more time and fold that and, or snip off the extra or whatever. I just put it in there and it works. So then there's his, his shoes. So cute. And then with these, and all that I used was a pool noodle. I did that for the uh, donut one as well, just because I ran out of rice. And I cut the pool noodle about four to six inches. This one's four. I might have done six on the other one, but the reason why I didn't use a pool noodle on the, the pineapple and the cactus, this pool noodle was too big to fit inside the cup, and the other ones I have are too small, so the, the rice in the sock works perfect for those. Now this one, the pool noodle fits 
pretty good in there. And with these, I would use, in, to glue all of the hats down, I'm going to use E6000 and the hot glue. And on this one, I'm also going to add a little bow. And he'll probably have white beard. Just to kind of show you what he's going to look like. Add this one I didn't even cut it's just leftovers but look how cool that is you know it fits nice and then he'll have his his nose and a little bow and on the shoes I thought I could use the same black on these shoes, or I could use a red and then just put a little bit of black on the bottoms. So this part would be red, and then this would be black. That way I would have an accent color with his shoes. So it just kind of depends on what you're wanting what ideas you have, what you have on hand. The ideas and possibilities are endless with this craft. You can use as much or as little stuff that you want. I'm gonna show you the other, the other one. This is the other plate and bowl. I kind of stopped short when I saw these. I could see these in my daughter's or my grandmother's kitchen, these, these dishes. Because it's their, their colors. And see, I would do the same, the white beard. the nose and then this one I thought maybe a white bow and if you wanted you could add a pop of color like if I did red shoes I could use a red bow to tie in those shoes possibilities I tell ya just have fun with the craft and you'll have you'll have a blast just try all of it out see what you like before you glue anything down Okay, now, one of the things I was wanting to do with you tonight, though, was for this, this here. I think that is sat long enough. This one is probably still a little wet, so I'm not putting my thumb through it like I did the other one. But with it being a silicone mold, all that you do is you push on it. And it comes right out. It's not sticking. There you go. There. So it was in this one here. That's the one that I used on this one here. And I did not coat it with anything. I didn't put any powder, nothing. All that I did was put the glue straight in there. And then that is what I got. It turns out so cute. And then this one is the one that I stuck my hands in. So it has all these little bumpies. So I'll take my scissors and I'm just going to clean up those, those edges. Hi Robin.
That way, when you clean up the edges on the back side, you have that flat surface to where you can glue it to your project. This one might be done, guys. I might have let it sit long enough. I was busy talking with all the other stuff, so I had my mind off of it. So let me see if I can pry it out of there. Yeah, it's going to work. And then all that I'm doing is evening up my edges. And is it crazy? I bought this mold not really even knowing how I was going to work the embellishments. All that I know is that I'm doing a pineapple gnome. And that was pineapples that I could use hot glue in. <laughs> so now I have three. Three of those. And I mean, I can, I can put more than one on there if I wanted. I could put some on each side. Line them up on the handle I mean it's however however you like hi Sam but these molds you know they're not just for cooking and candies and everything they work pretty good for crafting as well and I find that I will probably be using them more often hi Teresa I am going to paint these, um, and all that I'm using is the Apple Barrel paints. But I thought it was pretty cool that I could use this and it didn't stick. I didn't coat it with anything before, no sprays, no powder, nothing. All that I did was put that hot glue in there. For each one, it took about two and a half sticks total to fit one so kind of keep that in mind and that's only because I filled it all the way to the top if you didn't want it that full or like see how high that is if you didn't want it to go up that high you could use less and you would still have the same effect I love how they look though and I'm probably not gonna glue them down in the live and everything because I just wanted to show you guys pop on I didn't want to take too long you know so all that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how these look with a little bit of paint on them oh, I must have used a lot of green there we go This will kind of give you an idea of what it's going to look like if you do any. I'm noticing once I'm adding that paint, it is a little bit easier to see those little markings that was on the inside of uh, that mold. I'm gonna hold it up and I hope I hope that it's gonna show up on the camera. Do you, yeah it is a little bit. See those little lines so it does look like a pineapple. 
it's pretty cool. And this is only one coat. And I mean, it's looking pretty good. I would probably do two just because I'm kind of OCD that way. And as I'm painting, I do see where there was some little air bubbles where the leaves are. But I'm just filling where those air bubbles were. I'm filling it in with that green. And you can't really even tell that there's nothing there. And lately I have been using my heat gun to dry um, all of my painted stuff. Do not use a heat gun on these. I did not use it, thank goodness my Nana brain wasn't that bad. Uh, because you will melt your, your glue. But oh my goodness, it's looking so cute. That's just one coat. I am finding little wispies too. How adorable is that? Just for like a little embellishment. Oh yeah, as long as they're silicone molds, they shouldn't stick. And I'm not, I'm not good with making treats and all that. So whenever I look at it, I always, I always wonder, can I put hot glue in it <laughs> to where it doesn't stick? So um, at the Dollar Tree, they, they have different ones for each holiday normally. But right now they're getting really close to like, they have all the luau stuff out there. So they have the pineapple, they have a pink one that's flamingos. And then they have a blue one, but I can't remember what the blue one was. Um, they also have uh, silicone molds and stuff like at Walmart. Uh, little ice cube uh, and candy trays. So as long as it's in your theme and it's silicone, you can make cute little embellishments for pennies. It, like I said, it only took two and a half glue sticks. So here's, here's my glue sticks, and I use the mini ones for my glue gun. So two and a half, and then that's that glue melted down. It works so good, and that's going to look really cute on the gnome. I mean, it's not fully dry, but as you can see... That's going to be a cute little addition. And if I wanted to, I could add arms. And I could have him holding a, one of these pineapples. Or even holding a basket full of pineapples. Maybe I'll do that. That's a really good idea. Um, and then I also found at the Dollar Tree these here. Have you seen these? These are little wooden... Just like little wooden embellishments, I guess. And they have a little sticky dot on the back. Those would work as well. Make some into lemons. Lemons or limes. I tell you, anytime I go into a store, I'm, I can't have a time limit because there's, there's no guarantee when I'll get out of there. I always find myself in the crafting section, but then as I'm going through like the hardware section or the baby section or like hair accessories and stuff, I'm always thinking, will that work for a craft? Um... The kitchen aisle, I went and looked at all those bowls and cups. I ended up making those teacup gnomes. 
and they turned out amazing. Well, coffee cup gnomes. Um, and then also, a while back, I ended up using the St. Patrick's Day hats. And I ended up making some that were, I call it steampunk. And I got to thinking the other day, as it's sitting in, in my room waiting for the craft fair or the craft show, I thought I could make those into gnomes. <laughs> so I could use that as a hat, put a beard and a nose on there, you know, and he would be good to go. Like, have that and a little nose, a little steampunk. So maybe some of these hats that all that I planned on doing was having them be hats, they might end up becoming gnomes for my sale. And I also, when I went shopping, I found these little mini hats. It's two red ones, a white one, and then two blue ones. And the whole time I was thinking, oh my gosh, they could become gnomes. <laughs> so, 4th of July is coming up. So, I will definitely have to make some of those. And of course, I had, I found those really cute flowers, so I could have the gnome holding some flowers, whatever. But I love these crafts. And this, I've noticed that this paint is drying really fast. I don't know if it's my lights or if it's just how the paint sticks to the glue, but it is sticking really nice and it's giving me good coverage. Really, you would not need a second coat if you did not want it. Want it. I myself, I think I'm just gonna do that just so it's a little bit more vibrant. Turn out so cute. And if you didn't want to put the brown marks to highlight that, really you wouldn't need it. Because you can see it without painting it. You can't see it that well just like this, but once you get paint on there, you see that texture. This one I noticed I had a lot more air bubbles. See, you can see those lines. That's my air bubble right there. But if I wasn't satisfied with that air bubble, you can always add like an embellishment on this side or make that the part that sits close to your gnome. That way it's hidden. So even though there's imperfections on there, you can hide them and make it work for you. I love how 
in crafting, there's really no wrong way of doing it. You just let your mind go. And when you do lives, like I'm doing right now, you can get input from the other people that are watching. You can ask their opinions. So then the craft becomes, you know, a group craft. So it's not just yours, it's somebody else's as well. And that way too, they feel like they, they helped on it. And they turn out so adorable, so darling. I think next time I use the mold, I will take a little bit less time with it though. Or more time, I mean, not less. Um, I'll try to be less rushed. So I don't get as many air bubbles in those spots. It amazes me how they can get so much detail inside that little silicone stuff and have it show up on what you're putting in there. And if you wanted, you could also add a stick in there so you can push it into uh, like a bouquet of something or like in some styrofoam. So while it's still wet and not dry, it's not fully cured, add like a toothpick or a wire or something to where when it dries, that's going to be embedded in there. And then you can add it to, you can add them to floral arrangements, you can add them to whatever you're making. I really like those. Yeah, I really don't think they need two coats. Then I'm going to grab an itty bitty brush. This one should work. And I'm just going to see, I'm not good at painting, but I'm going to see on this first one, this first one that I had done, I'm going to see how it looks if I go over just slightly the, the little marks to see if it will still work or if I'm going to mess it up. And the good thing about it is if it doesn't look good, you can always paint over it. And for me, I'm not liking the brown. But that's me. Somebody else might think that it's really cute and adds that little, that little extra touch. And I might end up liking it after it dries, but I find I am my own worst critic when it comes, especially when it comes to painting, because I'm not that well, I'm not that good at it. But this has the lines on there, so I figured it would be really simple. I 
mean, it doesn't look horrible, but I don't love it either. I like them without it. <laughs> or maybe I would do, like, I don't know if you would add, like, maybe dots where they connect. look very good either and it just kind of looks like polka dotted well I guess it would just be your preference <clears throat> I did two different ways so this one here, it looks like a pineapple. You can tell that my brush strokes are not uniform. It looks better on camera than what it does in person, but it would work either way. And then I didn't care for that, so then I thought, well, what if I just did the dots where the lines connected? But then that kind of looks a little funny, right? Because the pineapples, you have to see the creases. So this one I would probably paint as well. This one's not as bad. I think I had a little bit more confidence in this one than the other one because I've already had one under my belt. So I think the more you practice, the better you'll get and just don't give up. Yeah, this one's not too bad. I love how they look. They turn out really cute. This one's still really, really wet, so I'd just smear it if I tried painting. What do you guys think? They look, they look okay? They look like pineapples now that I've added paint to them. Do you think I should even add them to him, or is he good by himself? And of course, he will have, he will have shoes. And I don't know if I should add like maybe some flowers, or just leave the flowers off and do You know what, I just might use that other sock and make him arms and have him holding a, a bowl of those. So I'll grab like a little, a little bowl. Like I have this here. That one might be a little bit too big, but I can always use um, like some lids or something or even, even a soda bottle. See. See, I could make that into one, but I think I would I would actually use like a small a small bowl. I've got some over there. Or I could even use like a little terracotta pot that I have and put those inside 
almost like they they started growing so that would be an option as well but I think I'm gonna go ahead and add arms for them and how I'm gonna do those Someone had asked me how I did the arms and stuff on one of my other gnomes. So I'm just going to set him off to the side. And I'll move those. So what I will do... I don't think I'm going to need the full length. So inside these curlers, these foam rollers, there's a wire and a little, a little hook. Well, I want to keep that in place and I'm just going to, I only want it, I want to cut it in half. So what I'm going to do, the other ones I've left the full length, but this one I don't think I'm going to need, I'll measure, just to be on the safe side. Well, I think I am going to just leave them that length. It's, it's going to work. So I'm going to snip off just the toe of this sock. So there's an open on this end and an open on the other end. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that sock open. Now I have the length of that, and I should be able, right here is the heel, I'm going to cut right where the bottom of that heel is, and Just a little detail that I like to do. Is I have these little pebbles. They're just the glass pebbles. I'm going to glue that to the bottom and that's going to be his hand. But what I'm going to do is one end of this, I'm going to go ahead and curl that up so I have a nice finished edge. Then I'm going to put some glue on that side. And I'm leaving that part in here so I can still bend it later. And I'm just going to put the curler to where the edge of this is just a little bit further out. That way when I add when I add this stone, it's going to look like his hand is coming out of that sleeve. So then all I'm going to do is roll this. And it's okay that this has those little marks on there. It just adds character to his sleeve. And once I get to the other side... I'm going to measure that. It's 
snippets. And then once I get to that other side, I'm going to add that little bit of glue. Try not to glue your fingers or burn them. But we're gonna wrap those around. And then that crease where those pieces meet that will go towards his body so you're not gonna see so this here would be the outside and where they met that'll go up against his body and then that part there has a little opening and I'm gonna put hot glue there I'm going to glue on that hand. Sometimes there's like a little bubble and I just take like a little pair of scissors and take that extra bit of glue off. And then I have a silicone mat off to the side that I clean my scissors on. And it just comes right off of there. So there is one hand, or arm I should say. Then I will line up that glue. I'll do the same thing with this one. And this part here has more of that heel. That's going to be okay because that's going to be the part towards the body. Where that seam is, it's going to be right where the body is. So that'll be on the outside. That'll be towards his body. Oh, thank you, Robin. And of course, I'm going to put that glue in there. And then that pebble goes inside. And that's his other hand. And remember, I didn't glue down his hat. And that's a good thing that I haven't glued that down yet because there's a little extra material here at the tip. I can glue that to the gnome up here. And that way, his arms are still movable and it's fully underneath 
his hat. And with these curlers having that bendable piece in there, that makes it to where he's going to be able to hold he's going to be able to hold um, that basket. So I've tucked his arms up in there. And of course, I want to make sure I know where his shoes are cuz I don't want to hide I don't want to hide his the fact that he's got shoes. So, it'll be like that and then he'll be holding a basket. I also have little baskets um, in some craft supplies that my grandparents had given me. They are little wicker baskets that those pineapples will fit perfect in. So then he's holding the little pineapple. He's so cute. I love how versatile these crafts are and I say that all the time. But I like how you can switch it up, change it up, have fun with it. You know, after you start doing it, you think, oh, I can do this. And so the ideas just keep flowing. And it turns out so cute. So as soon as he is completely done, I will share pictures. But I, ha I have to get those little baskets out of a bin over there. And I'll probably do that after I, I get off of the live. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys again what all I'm doing here. I'm going to clean up too because this table's a mess. So the pineapple guy, he's, he's going to get some pretty cool embellishments. He's going to be holding that little basket of pineapples. So he's going to have more than one pineapple in a basket. So all of those go to him. This one here is going to have purple shoes to go with the little sprinkles. But I tell you, my all-time favorite is this cactus one and I'm not I'm gonna glue his hat to him but I'm not gonna glue these down that way if they want to switch out those things and I'm not gluing him into the pot because if they want to put him in a different pot you know that would be pretty sweet what do you guys think of them I know I didn't do a whole lot to everything tonight but I wanted to get them on camera and I didn't want to spend hours and hours on here if I glued everything down painted everything and all that it would be it would take a little longer um, but yeah just wanted to touch base I had I don't remember when the last live was but it feels like it's been forever since I've done one and I just wanted to get these ones on there. Do you think I should add anything else towards the top? If you guys have any ideas to shout out to me, like on this one, I could use as much ideas as you could possibly give me. I was thinking of getting some white, thick, thick ribbon and do like... A little I don't know even what it's called like make it look like a dollop of whipped cream or something on the top here you know so it kind of goes to a point or should I just go ahead and leave it flat 
comment some ideas. Let me know what you think, if I should embellish this one a little bit more or what I should put on the sides. Because this one, I'm still somewhat running a blank. I know I want to put the, the shoes on it and a white beard. But for embellishments, I haven't really haven't really thought of much with that. So anything you guys can think of, I would really appreciate it. And then I think I'm going to log off of here, though. And then I will finish him up as well. I think he's coming together pretty good. Now, if I give him the basket of pineapples, since I'm using these pineapples in a little basket, should I put some kind of embellishment on his hat? Sam, you like the frosting on top of the donuts? So maybe I'll get grab some white and see how that works on there. And then maybe see about maybe even adding something for sprinkles on that, that uh, frosting. Do you guys think I should add anything to this, to the pineapple, the hat? So give me some ideas. Like I said, all of your guys' ideas I do take, take into consideration and my projects end up becoming a group project, you know, because you guys have great ideas as well. So, but yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and get off of here and get some fat I'm gonna go grab those baskets I cannot wait to see how he looks with one <laughs> and yeah just keep checking back I'm gonna try to do some more some more lives um, in the near future and I will also post on my page uh, the dates and times that I'm gonna be at the farmers market here in town so keep checking back do this here and I do have my YouTube page or my channel as they call it on there um, go ahead check that out and subscribe um, it's Steph's crafts the icon is the same as my Facebook one so it's a little bit easier to find because there's quite a bit on there so yeah, just keep checking me out, and I will do some more. If you guys want to see certain things, you know, shoot me some ideas. I'm willing to try, and I will see you guys later. I hope you have a great rest of your week. Bye.